happy mommies. This is Dr. Mandy. People all marry their soon because I'm Dr. Mandy that I do all things well. Wrong assumption. Um, however, I, do, I am pretty bomb. I do a lot of things really great. However, this morning, I'm not. I went and got my hair done and now I woke up this morning and I'm like, dude, I, the kids, what are the kids gonna eat for lunch? So I went to my go-to, which is a Lunchable. That is definitely not what I wanted to feed them today, but I don't have any other options. And I need some options, some tools in my bag that are gonna help me get my life together. So hashtag, I y'all fix my life. How about hashtag fix my lunches today? Because my kids are eating a lunch bowl. So I need a little bit of variety. So I'm reaching out to my local friends with Happy Mommy's Healthy Kids, because they need to get my life together. Because right now, I'm not feeling like I'm winning. So. I am happy that they're eating because I could be paying $3.50 for school lunch that's not even healthy. So they're eating the Lunchable today. So I reached out to some local moms who are going to help me get my life together so that I'm not, when I decide to have some me time, not struggling. So I want to introduce you to some amazing people. Um, one local bomb mom, Ingrid, who is phenomenal. She, her lunches are inspirational. I'm like, yes, I'm gonna get my life all the way together with her lunches. And then a nutritional wellness, Trish. She's going to show me how to have a healthy lunch for my kids. And how instead of drinking Gatorade, there are options, other options since my kids play sports. So stay tuned and watch these local bomb moms. Hi, my name is Trish Muehlstein. I am a certified holistic life coach. I'm a certified a holistic wellness coach. I have been a personal training director. Um, so I've been in the health and fitness industry for over 15 years. So I'll start with the main protein and then I'll add some fruit. So when I'm in a rush, you can do your diced peaches. Um, grapes like this stay in my fridge all the time so that they can grab them um, whenever they want for a snack. I do want to show you the bread that I use. This is Eureka. It's organic um, wheat bread, non-GMO, and it's, it's very flavorful, but it's a good kind of wheat, so no gluten in there. Um, and then a vegetable, so we've got the main protein source, the fruit, and then a vegetable, and I just let her pick what she wants for the day. Everything on this table right here except for the chicken, that's kind of acidic, but we don't eat that much of it. But all of this makes your body alkaline, and it's very important because the Nobel Peace Prize was, was won in the 1930s from a doctor who discovered that cancer and disease cannot thrive in an alkaline environment. Therefore, my goal as a parent is to teach my children to maintain alkalinity in their body so that they can avoid inflammation and avoid disease. I'm not saying change everything all at once. <laughs> try one thing one week and when they take to it then try another thing and, and slowly over time you'll change your lifestyle and you'll change your habits so this will be the norm instead of like lunchables are not the norm in my house they they don't we stopped doing that you know a couple years ago so um, this has become the norm and i find that the more you educate your child on what is actually taking place in their body when they eat foods that are processed or when they eat um, things high in sugar or when they eat things with chemicals in it, the more you educate them of what they're actually doing to their body and the long-term effects that could have on them, they buy into the system a lot faster. Hi, I'm Ingrid Hicks and so tonight, this is the night before school starts and I am working on making healthy lunches for my girls and for myself tomorrow. That's just like a little, Lemon pasta with olive oil, seasoning, cut up chicken breast, and spinach and Parmesan cheese. My five-year-old likes Uncrustable. She likes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. What I do is either I cut the crust off the edges, I cut them into triangles, anything that makes the sandwich look cute other than just a regular sandwich. But that's really all it is, is a regular sandwich. So we have that there. And then cutting board like this to kind of get it to cut all the way through. You'll see it starts to come through like that. And I'll just press 
the rest of it through and and voila you have an uncrustable you can put eggs in this ham and cheese whatever but it's yours the reason I like the Planet Box Lunchbox, they're a little on the expensive side. Sometimes you can catch them on sale. They put them on sale like once or twice a year. But they're stainless steel. They wash great. Like you just throw them in the dishwasher. They come out, they're clean. Um, they keep your foods cool because you can make it at night and then just put it in the refrigerator. These boxes are three years old. We're going into the fourth year. I tried plastic bento boxes before. They stain, they warp, you lose lids. These have a lid and latch, so I really like these expensive, but I really, really like them a lot. And the kids seem to like it better because they have little compartments. It's the same food, but it just looks different because it's a little bit here, a little bit there. So these are my favorite ones. This one is more for like an adult, so it has a larger size, so you can put more food into that one. But it's also by Planet Box. I also want to give a shout out to Sabine Yusab for inspiring me with her garden. I'm not doing a garden, I'm not. However, I am going to assure that my kids are eating healthy. So Sabine, you're a bomb mom, and thank you for inspiring me.